Good morning, and welcome to episode 171 of Getting Rich. I'm your host, Rich Checkin, President of Asset Strategies International, and today is Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. The U.S. is considering sanctions on Chinese banks in an effort to stem their support of Russia's war effort in Ukraine. My question is, have we learned nothing from the failed sanctions against the Russian banks? And uh, why do we think this time it'll be different and weaponizing the dollar won't harm the dollar as it has in the past as we use the same weapon against China? Time will tell, we shall see. At the same time, fighting in Gaza intensifies between Israel and Hamas as the U.S. overnight passed a $95 $95 billion aid package for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. Senator Chuck Schumer stated after the Senate passed the bill that getting this done was one of the greatest achievements the Senate has faced in years, perhaps decades. I assume it was so difficult to pass a $95 billion aid package because we don't have $95 billion. But let's not let that stop us. Let's take a look at the numbers from the previous week. Uh, Today, gold sits at 2,316.80 an ounce. That's down 2.9% from last week's mark of 2,386.20. Silver, down 4.7% to $27.18 from $28.51 last week. Platinum down to $919 from $966 an ounce last week. That's a 4.9% drop. And palladium is your big winner, only down 0.4%, 4 tenths of 1%, or $4, to $1,042 an ounce. It was $1,046 last week. With gold doing better, falling less than silver did this past week, your gold-silver ratio, the number of ounces of silver it takes to buy an ounce of gold, has ticked up to 85.52. It stood at 83.96 last week, just under 84. And the dollar weakened slightly over the past week. It dropped to 105.86 on the index. It was 106.16 last week. Now, Over the past few days, we've seen a bit of a pullback in both gold and silver prices. This is to be expected. Let's face it, gold was up $600 in a very, very short period of time. You would expect to see some profit taking. We are seeing profit taking. For those of you who think that this is the end, that we built and consolidated for four years to move higher and our move is about a month and a half, $600 long in gold. Uh, You're missing the boat. Uh, This is just profit taking. It's a bull market pullback or a bull market retracement. These are opportunities in this environment to go ahead and pick up some gold and some silver for that next leg up at prices cheaper than they ought to be. Again, We just passed another $95 billion worth of aid. We don't have it. As long as Congress has no desire to balance the budget, has no desire to be fiscally responsible, we know that in the long term, as we measure gold and silver in dollars, that it's going to cost more. It's plain and simple, folks. There's no two ways about it. Um, As always, we want you to go ahead and... uh, Follow us on YouTube, sign up, send us your comments and questions, follow our social media, get our once monthly information line newsletter, get our twice weekly always something interesting alerts, and this year we're doing six on the move webinars. Our next one is coming up. It's uh, Tuesday, May 7th, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Our guest, Adrian Day, and my guest will be Peter Cavelti. You won't want to miss this. Uh, And in the interim, I just want you to understand that it all starts with gold and silver, that getting rich starts with keeping what's yours.